hello everyone welcome to datables i hope you are all doing fine in this video we are going to see how to create excel like pivot tables in power bi reports using matrix visual like this so we have created this pivot table and we will see how to configure them based on this rows column and values fields we will also see how to format this table like turning on and off the step layout adding and removing totals and subtotals changing the units of this values like we have changed it into thousand here adding and removing conditional formatting all we will see in this video and if you want to see pivot and unpivot columns in power query editor we have prepared another video for that i will add link in the description please do check that out so let's start with this video to create pivot table we will first select the matrix visual from this visualization plane now you can see we have rows columns and values here we want to create matrix table or pivot table like this where we have year region then the categories then the values that is revenue so what we will do we will click on this matrix table we will select year first in rows then we will select region in rows then in columns we need category and then in values we need revenue so you can see we have created a matrix or pivot table but region is not appearing here so we will click on this link like expand all hierarchies now we can see region also but we want to see this region into another column so what we will do we will go to this and then select column header in column header you have option under this row headers we have plus and minus icon and options if you click turn this on a plus and minus icon will appear you can expand and collapse this here but we want east and west in another column so we will uncheck this step layout in options you can see we have year region this is unchecked now now let's say we want to remove this totals from columns so what we can use we can use this column subtotals now you can see this totals from this column is removed now let's say we want to remove the subtotals from rows so when we click on this all subtotals are removed but let's assume we want to remove only the subtotals from this region that is east and west so what we will do we will check this box on for row level to on then we will select region here then we will uncheck this show subtotals now you can see like subtotals from this is, has been removed now we want to change the units of this values we will go to a specific column then we will select revenue here then you can see we have options of display unit we will select thousand here you can see unit is changed to thousand now let's assume we want to conditional format these values we will go to these value section here we will right click here then we, we will try to conditional format this based on font color so let's condition format based on the default settings you can see the color of the format has changed as per values for now these values are aggregated based on sum now let's assume you want to aggregate based on average or count you can select as per your wish now these values are aggregated based on average value but for revenue we will select sum so we will select sum here now you want to filter this pivot table you have two options either you can filter based on based on this filter pane you can select categories as per your required let's say you, i want to see the pivot table only for bars then we will click on this bars only bars data will appear another way to filter this pivot table is using slices we will click on the slices and we want to filter it by let's assume by category city let's say by product we will select product here we will change the settings of the slices to drop down and we will enable this multi select option and and turn on the select all option now you can see we can filter this by using this slicer i hope now you can create your own pivot table try to play with this rows columns and values and check out all these 
visualization pane settings like style present grade values so guys that's all for this video if you find this video insightful then please do like this video and subscribe to our channel and feel free to ask anything in comment section we will try our best to answer all of them check us out on different social media platform like linkedin facebook and twitter and check our websites that is datawolves.com so we'll see you in our next video thank you bye